So hey everyone, welcome back to DBTech. So you're back with a new interesting video. It's been way long uploading a new video, right? So in this video, we're going to be seeing about the best emulator for your low-end PCs. But before getting into the video, I'll just tell you what is an emulator. It is nothing but a software which enables Android APKs to be installed also, which enables the Android apps and softwares to be installed in the player. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be seeing the best for the low-end PC and also how to use it and the interface of it. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel for more technical and interesting videos. Let's move away and quickly get into the video. So as I told you in the intro, we're going to be seeing the best emulator in this video. So what most of the people do is they install Android OS in the PC in order to play Android games and run Android softwares. So now we're not going to do that. So all we need to do is just download one emulator where it supports all the APKs and you can install Android softwares or also you can play games in it. So the next thing is coming to the low end PC. So I have two different devices with me that is high end computer and low end laptop. So I'm going to install in this but not in this. I'll tell you why. In the beginning I have mentioned it is especially for the low end PCs. People who have low end PCs try to install Android games in it but still they fail. So I'm going to try this software in this low end laptop. The app which we're going to be seeing is the EMU EMU Play or you could just call it as Moomoo Play. It sounds a little bit weird. So we'll just call it as MU EMU Play. We're going to install that in this low end PC and just try it how it is. Also we're going to be seeing the features of it and interface. So now coming to the features. So this is one of the best features that is APK. So if you want to install APK, you could directly install. You just need to drag it from your windows and put it in this player. So I'll just show you. So let's not waste the time and quickly see how to download it. So the first thing you need to be doing is open Google Chrome and type MU MU Player. So here you could find the first official website that is MU MU Player Fast Android Emulator for PCs. So you need to tap on it. So before downloading the player, we'll just have a quick look of the website. So as you can see, they have a quick features on the website that is no interruption, 120 FPS with big screen and accurate aiming. So this play might be a very good feature or very good option for the gamers. And next thing after scrolling, you can find here that MU MU play perfectly supports Free Fire. So if so you're playing Free Fire, this might be a very good option for you. And next thing is there are a lot of games, a lot of mobile games for free. Like Blue Archive, Revive Witch, Girl Cafe, Gun, Ark Knights, Black Desert, PUBG Mobile, Clash of Clans, Minecraft and lot and lot etc. So also it has some user guide and news with them. So this is all about the website. Now let's go waste the time and quickly download and check out the interface and how it works. And here you could find the download tab. So you just need to tap on it. So once your tab redirects to the next website and your download automatically starts. So once it is done, you need to open it. And here you need to give the access. So you need to tap on yes. So once you tap on us, you could find that the MU MU player is installing on your PCs. But before that, it checks your hardware whether this system is compatible or no. And now you need to tap on quick install. So as you can now see that the MU MU player is installing on your PCs. So this is around 500 MB. So you need to wait and really take some long time. Once after the installation is completed, you could find the icon on the desktop. So you need to give access. So you need to tap on it and tap on yes. So once it is done, you could find the MU MU player is opening on your system. So once you're done with the, once you're completed with the installation, you need to sign in with your Google account, but we'll do it later. So if you want to download any Android apps or any Android softwares from the Play Store, you need to sign in with your Google account. But now we're not going to do that. We're going to skip it. So you could find an option called login later. So we're going to tap on that and we're going to skip this. So here you could find some system apps like settings, file manager, gallery, downloads, contacts and Play Store. And next thing is the screen recording. It also has an inbuilt screen recording where you could record your screen. So this is all about the screen recording. Next thing is the keyboard and mouse setting. So here are some settings where it might be helpful for the gamers. So if so you are playing any games in this play, you could use this option where are some features like aim and fire, also a few more options. So you could just try this out. And here comes the interesting feature which I told you. So here you could find the APK option. So you could directly drag it from your windows and paste it to install your Android apps or APK files. So this is one of the best feature as I previously mentioned it in the video. So and here comes the setting. So this are some settings which is available in the MU MU player. This are some which is already installed in an Android device. It's the same as that. And this is all about the video and the interface of the MU MU player. I hope you all got a clear view of it. So now let's quickly end the video. So I hope you all got to know the interface of this app, how to download it and how to operate it. So if this video was interesting, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and suggest this water in the next video. Until it's Shaitan, this is Vishwa signing out from DVTechie. So if you want more interesting videos, subscribe DVTechie.